in the last video, I showed you the two ways that we use every day to keep Charlotte's cochlear implants in. But we did have a good year of our life where we were dealing with hearing aids. And there was only one way that we found that worked for us to keep her hearing aids in that was comfortable for her, that she never messed with. So I'm just gonna share that way with you today. There's so many different methods and different things work for different babies, but this was the most helpful for us. And if you tuned into my crazy chaotic video of how we keep her cochlear implants on, then you would have heard me mention ear suspenders. And ear suspenders do make headbands for hearing aids specifically, but we didn't have, we. Did, I guess I just didn't have any of those whenever she had her hearing aids. I, I got ear suspenders once she got her cochlear implants. So maybe if I'd have heard about that sooner, I might've tried that and liked it. But I'm gonna attempt to show you what we do. I don't even have all the tools anymore because it's been a year since we've had hearing aids, but I have a water baby because Charlotte is napping. And if you tuned into my last video, it was straight crazy and she was not gonna cooperate for this. But the first thing you need is to pay tape. And I get mine on Amazon. I'll link it in the video here. It's really cheap. We got one box. It lasts us the entire year that she had hearing aids. We never had to repurchase it. And I just cut the strips. I have her cochlear implant <laughs> and I just took off the earpiece because we don't have hearing aids. We were able to get her hearing aids through a donor bank that we had to give back after she was done with them. But if this were a hearing aid, I would put the toupee tape on the side that's going to be against her head. And toupee tape is really just a double-sided tape, but it works a lot better than a scotch tape or something like that. And it's really gentle on the skin. So if I had toupee tape here, I put toupee tape right here and then I would stick it to her head like so behind her ear. So that really did a good job keeping it in. She had ear molds that fit specifically to her ear. Sometimes as she grew, it got a little iffy, but for the most part, they fit really well. So between the ear molds and the toupee tape, it did a really good job keeping them in. However, if you have a crazy eight month old rolling around everywhere, starting to crawl, sometimes just the toupee tape and the ear molds just really isn't enough. And for me, I needed something that was a little more reassuring that she wasn't gonna just grab it and throw it off. So my number one favorite, favorite thing for keeping in the hearing aids is a pilot cap. And specifically these pilot caps are from Lil Nels on Etsy, L-I-L -L space N-E-L-L-S. Again, I don't get any kickback from you going and finding this Etsy shop and purchasing one of these. I just love the product. I think the owner is amazing. The customer service is great and it's completely customizable. Like if you look at this, that screams keen girls right there. It's got a little bow, some florals. And what I love is that the sides are mesh. If you can see that, I don't know. It's a really cool and stretchy material. There's two chin strap buttons and we did two different sizes when she was a smaller baby between like two to six months old. She had a much smaller one and then we got her a larger one when she hit about six months old. So we'll just pretend that the hearing aid is to pay taped on here and snub with the um, ear mold. And then you just put the pilot cap on like a little bonnet. This will not fit this water baby, but it looks really cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, this video, these videos, sorry guys. I hope they help, it's the best I can do right now. I'll put some pictures of Charlotte up with hers. You just put on the pilot cap, they're really adorable. And between the two pay tape and how snug and stretchy that pilot cap is, it makes a really, really good tight fit and I never really worry about her hearing aids being missing or coming off. She did really well with that. So that is the method we use to keep her hearing aids on. Toupee tape and the Lil Nels Pilot Cap. It worked wonders for us. We have, she's used to having stuff on her head and I have had some friends say their little boys had a little bit more difficult time with headbands keeping on their hearing aids, but they did really well with the Pilot Caps as well. And I will say that I have seen so many really cute little boy pilot caps that don't look like a feminine bonnet at all. They are just, I mean, favorite cartoon characters, really cool colors. I think she can pretty much do anything, the owner of the Lil Nels shop. Really amazing. So highly recommend that method. I hope that helps somebody. I'm sorry that I had to use a baby doll and didn't even have toupee tape to show you. I'll link the toupee tape and I think once you try that method one time, you'll understand what I was going with there. So thank you guys.